Good morning and welcome to Eagle's Nest Live for your AHS Morning News. Hello, I'm Macy. And I'm Ethan, and we're here to provide you with the news for today, September 6th, Friday. The first FBLA meeting will be September 20th for members only. If you want to attend, make sure your FBLA dues are paid before September 20th. Picture day for underclassmen is scheduled for Thursday, September 12th. You should have received a picture packet during EFT last Friday. Extras are available in the front office and seniors, your picture day will be Friday, October 18th. I like my grandparents because they were always nice to me and they always made me free food, so that's a bless. My grandma makes the best brownies. I love my grandparents. Actually, have it marked on my calendar to call them and tell them how much I love them on Grandparents Day. I love my memo. I went and set up her antenna because DirecTV took off her ABC and she's got to watch her Dancing with the Stars. What I like about my Nana is she was always there for me and helped me out when I needed it. I love my grandparents because they give you literally anything that you want and let you get away with anything that you ever want to get away with. Hey, good morning, Apollo High School. Uh, I want to invite the entire faculty, uh, staff, students, Everybody in this building to come watch the boys cross country team race tomorrow. Uh, our sport's not like a lot of other sports. We really only race in Owensboro two times this year, and tomorrow's one of those opportunities. The weather's going to be perfect, 80 degrees. We're at Yellow Creek Park. If you get there at 10:30, and you will be gone in 30 minutes. It's super quick. Our boys team is ranked probably top 10 in the state of Kentucky. We have a great team. We would love as many people there as possible. Come wear blue. We should dominate the competition. So again, Yellow. Creek Park, 10.30 in the morning. It'll last for 30 minutes. You'll be home by noon. We'd love to have everybody there to cheer on our boys. Please come, bring a friend. Have a great Friday. Representative from the University of Southern Indiana will be in the CCR Center today during Eagle Family Time. If you would like to speak with her, please stop by. The Creative Writing Club will be meeting next Wednesday, September 11th from 3.30 to 4.30 in Miss Boykin's room, room 318. Stop by to see Mrs. Boykins if you have any questions. The first junior meeting on September 12th from 315 until 4 in room 400. Please see Mrs. McCarty in room 438 if you have any questions. Do you want to know how to prevent bullying or unhealthy relationships within our school? If so, you should become part of the Green Dot program. For more information, see Ms. McCarty in room 438. Good morning and welcome back to this week's edition of Eagle Nation Sports. I'm your host, Ethan Deitch. Let's see who's been popping off at this short week here at Apollo. Boys Cross Country has been setting fire to the cross country course, winning their last two meets by over 45 points. This past weekend, they competed in the Purple Strider with placings coming in at Thomas Ashby, second, 
Blake Rigdon fourth, Nicholas Zimothy fifth, Ethan Deitch sixth, and Jake Alvey rounding off the win in 11th. Keep up the hard work, boys, and remember it's supposed to hurt. Also, good luck to the boys and girls as they compete in races this weekend. Sophomore Macy Brown continues to shoot low scores, scoring a career-best 71 in Marshall County this past weekend, followed by another great performance Tuesday night, shooting 37 for nine holes at Ben Halls. Macy also shot a 38 to place first Wednesday night in the girls' match. Brooke Brown, Marianne Lyons, and Addison Carter all had great performances as well. Keep swinging, girls. Girls soccer is still playing hard and giving it their all to get their first win. We all look forward to seeing what is coming up in the girls' upcoming season. You got this, girls. Volleyball fell short to Catholic but still had a great showing. Whitley Chambers had eight kills and two blocks. Briley Rhodes had seven kills. Hallie Wilson had four aces and Ansley Hopewell had three aces. Keep playing hard, ladies. Boys golf had a pretty good night Wednesday night in their match at Ben Halls. Scorers on the night were Isaac Crabtree with a 48, Tanner Clee with a 49, Ashton Hope with a 48, and Aiden Watson with a 54. Good job, guys. Well, it looks like our sports teams had a good week. Everybody have a nice Friday, and I'll see you next time. Last night, the JV and varsity volleyball teams beat Henderson County. JV went 2-1, and one, and varsity won 3-0. Congratulations, volleyball team. For today's lunch, you have a choice of hot dog or pizza in the Global Fair line, brunch for lunch in the Mama's Kitchen line, summer chef salad in the sub and salad line, several sandwich choices in the sandwich line, and snickerdoodle cookie is the dessert of the day. We would like to wish the following after-school activities good luck as they participate in events this weekend. The varsity football team as they travel to play Central Harden tonight at 7 Central Time. The freshman volleyball team as they host a tournament tomorrow. The girls' cross-country team as they travel to Terre Haute in tomorrow morning. The boys' cross-country team as they compete in Owensboro Invitational at 1045 in the morning at Yellow Creek Park. The boys' soccer team as they travel to Hopkinsville to compete in a tournament tomorrow. And the Apollo Marching Band as they travel to compete in their first contest at Madisonville North Hopkins at 630 tomorrow night. <laughs> Good luck to you all, and go Eagles. Thank you for having Thank you and have a great weekend. <laughs> good morning, Eagles, and welcome to your Friday. This really has been a good week. Let's finish strong on this week and uh, have a great weekend. Um, so, birthdays today and through the weekend. Zane Hudson today, Riley Hunsinger, Jordan Stiles, Eric Whited, and then tomorrow on Saturday, Kayana Dixon, Teresa Felipe, Giovanna Salato, on Sunday, Amber Dunn, Brian Norris, Kaylee Sneed. Let's make this a great day and again a great weekend. Be safe. Please stand for the pledge. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.